It's time for Elevate FX. I am so glad you tuned in to be with us again this week. We are continuing our study on Jesus and his names that we see in scripture. Last week we talked about Jesus being a carpenter and he is our rabbi. And one of our challenges was for you to construct something out of cardboard and submit your pictures. Let's check out some of those. You all are quite creative. Well done. This week, we are talking about Jesus is the true vine. I can't wait to talk more about that together, but first, let's play a game with Mr. Mark. What's up, fam, and welcome to Family Minute Game Time. I'm Mr. Mark, and today's game is going to be called Big Giant Fruit. This game involves balloons, one for each person, and when you blow them up, they kind of look like big giant fruit. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. Beforehand, players will blow up their balloons, and when the game timer starts, participants will throw their balloons up into the air, trying to keep it from touching the ground for as long as possible. When the game timer ends, the player whose balloon touched the ground the least amount of times wins. The five second warning timer is about to begin. You got it? Good. I think I knew you would. takes an effort to keep those balloons up in the air. Great job. It's definitely difficult if you ever try it outside. <laughs> now it's time for worship. The Seeds Family worship song that we will be singing today comes from the book John and the letter 1 John. As we're singing and giving praise to Jesus Christ, who is the true vine, let's remember that no one can come to the Father except through Jesus Christ. the testimony that God gave us eternal life and this life is in his son yeah this is the testimony that God gave us eternal life and this life is in his son whoever has the son has life whoever does not have the son of God does not have Here's the life. Here's the life. Here's 
that God gave us eternal life and this life is in his son yeah this is the testimony that God gave us eternal life and this life is in his son 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 things I like seeing things grow my family loves to plant in the spring and watch those plants grow and whether they produce flowers or they produce fruit we love seeing them mature and to grow and create this great thing this fruit that we can eat and enjoy I like jalapenos that's that's the plant that I have in the in the garden it grows jalapenos and I love it when we get to eat those it's not good though if that tree, that jalapeno plant, doesn't produce the jalapenos. If it's not, it's wasting space. Jesus talked a little bit about that. Let's look at John chapter 15. I'm going to read verses 5 through 8. I am the vine, and you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, he bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away as a branch and dries up, and they gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples. Jesus calls himself the true vine. If I were to go to my jalapeno plant and cut off a branch and hold it, would that branch produce a jalapeno? Would we see it grow if I'm just holding on to this branch? No, it has to be a part of the plant, it has to be connected. It has to be getting nutrients and water and all that it needs from, that, from the body of the plant. Jesus is just like that, and you are just like that branch. You have to stay connected to him to be able to produce, to create good things in your life and the lives of others. And Jesus does it through you. It's not because of you. It's through you that Jesus works. He is the vine. We are the branches. If we're not connected to him, if we're not part of that vine, we can't do what he's called us to do. And he wants us to produce fruit. He wants to see us doing the great things that the Spirit gives us the power to do, to, be, to love people, to have joy and peace and patience, all these things that the Spirit produces in us. He wants us to, to do that, and we can't without him. Are you staying connected to the vine? Are you part of the true vine? I sure hope so. Trusting in Jesus is the only way to be a part of that vine. To know that you are a sinner, to know that you can't fix your relationship with God because you're imperfect, and to trust Him, trust Jesus and His sacrifice on the cross for you. Wow, what an amazing free gift He offers us so that we can be connected to the vine and so that we can grow and produce fruit. Abide in Jesus, the one true vine. I love the picture that Jesus gives us, that he is the vine and that his followers are the branches. Have you been connected to the vine? Have you given your life to Jesus Christ? There's no way to know God and to live forever other than Jesus Christ, who gave his life for you and for me, rose again and provides that pathway to know him. I pray that if you haven't given your life to Christ, that you'll consider that. It doesn't mean that things will get easier, but it's the best decision anybody could make to give their lives to Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. And now it is time for the challenge of the week. This week's challenge, you will be making your very own chain reaction. 
Get some things from around your house, maybe some toys or some things that your parents will let you use. You could pick dominoes, a classic thing for a domino effect, or maybe even Legos, or some things that make a little bit more noise. Get creative, see what you can find. Ask your parents to share your video of your domino effect to Facebook using hashtag LFAFX20 or to put it in the comment section below by Monday. So hopefully it can be in this next Wednesday's video for Elevate FX. And also, if you don't know what a chain reaction is, check this out. As we close this video out for discussion time, let's remember that Jesus Christ is the only one true vine. That there's no other vine that we could connect ourselves with that would help us to produce fruit at all. Jesus is the only one that can produce fruit through us. So, after this video ends, here's the discussion question. Why do we need Jesus Christ for us to do the things that he wants us to do?